Good day, night, evening, whatever time may be, ladies and gentlemen. This is Darth Chain. Hope you guys are having a good one. Um, I know I said that Friday would be the next video, but unfortunately I have to add a caveat to that. Uh, this is going to be the video for the day. And unfortunately it's not going to be path one of Codicus's Manor. I was running it a couple nights ago and I forgot to record the footage for it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys actually want to head over to Kruger's channel, I will throw a link down in the description and I'll also throw an annotation up on screen right about now. Uh, he will have the full run, unedited, for you guys to watch, just in case you want to see that. And also check out his channel whenever I do an upload. Um, he will most likely be doing an upload as well. Um, he is going to be doing a, like, behind-the-scenes type video where he uploads, uh, what we recorded in our run. So, he's going to record, like, the story modes of Dungeons from his perspective while I do mine from my perspective and we just talk and all that stuff. But then I'm going to have, I'm going to heavily edit the paths like I've been doing with, like, the, uh, the Fractals of the Mists and the other videos. He isn't going to edit it. And also he has some other games up on his channel like Elite Dangerous. And if you guys want to see me cover that game in a couple of different ways, just let me know what you want to see and I'll gladly try and do it. Uh, but other than that, I thought we would do something a little fun, I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I actually won my guild lotto this week. So the guild lotto is 20 gold or however much gold it makes so this week it made 28 gold so i won 28 gold and a stack of winner's day gifts now i threw the winner's day gifts in my bank because i didn't want to open on all 250 but we also got a choice of up to 1000 gems worth of items from the trading post and nothing's really speaking to me that is giftable, so I just said, hey, send me some keys and we'll open up some chests. So I got 11 chests. Let's see if I get anything good. That's valuable. So we get the present, teleport to friend and atonement knowledge, nothing good. Next one, uh, Merchant Express and a Black Line Scrap. I think I need one more and I can get a Black Line Weapon. And wouldn't you know it, there's a second one. Cool. And Revival Orb, that's not too bad. Okay, so we got a Trading Post Express and a Guaranteed Wardrobe Unlock. Those are kind of fun. Uh, trading Post and Tomonology again. Oh well, nothing too exciting yet. Express and a Tome. Uh, Revive Orb and another Miniature Claim Ticket. Nice. A unid Die and a Transmutation Charge. That's not too bad. It looks like we just got the same chest again. <laughs> uh, it's a troll. And last one. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. And yeah, <laughs> it was absolute crap. So uh, let's actually test my luck. Mini freshwater crab. Uh, I think that was a waste. <laughs> and let's see. If there's any mini that is speaking to me today with this ticket. Wasn't that one like really, really rare a while ago? Yes. Uh, is the snow me or is the snow it? I think it's me. Oh well. We'll haul onto it. See if anything good gets thrown in there. But yeah, nothing too good, unless one of these dies is like a Celestial or an Abyss. Uh, Midnight Rust, nope, nothing good. All right, well, I know it wasn't that fun of a video, but I had fun opening this stuff. And yeah, it's not really all that amazing. But definitely do check out Kruger's channel, and do keep in mind that whenever I do an upload, He'll most likely be doing one as well. I don't think he's going to be doing one for Codicus Manor Path 2 and Path 3. Only because I was dumb and I accidentally did them without him. 
and he resents me for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kruger. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of video and all that grand old stuff. We will definitely, definitely, definitely be back on Monday to continue the dungeon guide with Codicus Manor Path 2. Uh, if I get enough requests, I'll probably go back and do Path 1 um, and actually do an edited version of it. I probably should do it anyway, but we'll see what happens. Uh, also... I should probably sit here and state that the dungeon guide will most likely go uncompleted for an indefinite amount of time. The only reason why I say that is Twilight Arbor, the Metal Path, the Level 81 with the Aether Blades. I don't know that one very well, so I don't think I'll be doing a video on that. And I don't think I'll be doing videos on the Ara Explorable Paths only because I don't know them at all. I paid for my runs when I had to do them. Um, I've tried learning the run, but I get to Lupicus, who is the mid-boss, and I just hate it and I just stop doing anything. Uh, because I just hate the boss. He annoys me too much. I just don't know how to fight him. And this is coming from a guy who's beaten Bell Guardian, Gorsable, and Sabbath, I guess, if that counts for anything. Uh, Slothosaur is probably the biggest pain in my side right now next to uh, Lupicus. But, yeah, that was pretty much the video. Hopefully you guys have a good holiday season, seeing as today is the 23rd and Christmas is just in two days. Big wishes for happy holidays for everybody out there. And let's see what the new year brings us. Hopefully uh, I keep entertained with making videos for you guys. And hopefully you guys like them. And we get the channel to grow a little bit more. That's always a good thing, right? <laughs> Other than that, we'll see you on Monday for Codicus's Manor Path 2. Do take care.